Okay, hello everyone, it's Kei. So this is the 12th of July and this is on Monday. So new week started, so I hope you're having a great week this week. And this is a recorded video session. It's not a live stream because uh, today and tomorrow I will be moving to the new apartment, which you can see in the back. I will be moving. So this is the hotel still, but uh, I will be quite busy for the next two, two days. So today um, I decided to record a video. So by the time this video is going to be uploaded, I will be at the next uh, new, new apartment and uh, moving some stuff over there. And then watching this video at the same time. So today I would like to talk about one pair which I think is interesting to see. And if there is a chance, then I will be taking trades today. So let me talk about that pair first and then I will give you an overall market idea of uh, how I see the market and also what I look at and when I think it's gonna be a good trading chance. So let me squeeze my face. Okay, and uh, before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information today is basically based on my own understanding. So when you take trades, please do with the risk management. And also, if you can follow the guidelines rules, it would be great on this video session and also the live stream sessions. Okay, so the pair that I'm watching today is the Euro Pound. Because Euro Pound on the weekly chart is downtrending. So we see the Kumo is down right now. This is bearish Kumo. And the Kumo itself is going down. Senko Span A is specifically going down this way. And Kumo is gaining its thickness. So Kumo thickness is very important in terms of the trend st stability. So when you see the Kumo thick and long like this, then this is a stable downtrend in the long term because Kumo shows the long term market momentum and then I also look at the Kijun Sen the green one is called Kijun Sen in my chart color setting and I see the Kijun Sen is pointing downwards this way and Kijun Sen shows the mid term market momentum so on this weekly chart in the mid term Kijun Sen is pointing down and that means that this is also downtrending in the mid, mid term and also Tenkan Sen here. Tenkan Sen is a blue one in my chart setting and Tenkan Sen is also pointing down this way. So it also shows that this is a short term market momentum and when you see Tenkan Sen pointing down, this is bearish in the short term. And also Chikou Span. Chikou Span is a yellow line and Chikou Span shows that uh, it's the, uh, this is also the market momentum and when you see Chikou Span below the candles, this is considered to be bearish. And right now, Chikou Span is exactly below the candles and this is bearish market. So overall market situation on the weekly chart is bearish as per HMAC 5 lines and I'm looking for the sell chance. I won't sell. I won't sell just because I see this bearish market, but I will look at the lower time frames and exactly capture when to sell in this particular market and I won't buy here I won't buy in this market because this is bearish so first of all we have to set our eyes in terms of which mar which direction the market's going if it's going down then you have to look for sell chance if it's going up then you have to look for buy chance because I'm a trend follower so I only capture trends and try to ride on it if there is no trend in the market, then simply I stay away. And I think that this is uh, one of the very nice pairs to look at today. So I will focus on this pair and step by step talk about in lower time frames. Actually, this analysis is I posted on the, the trading view. So if you can come to my trading view website, uh, forexk uh, hyphen official. And scroll down and you can find my analysis. I give analysis uh, almost every day on my uh, TradingView account. So you can follow this one too. So basically this is what I put here. Weekly chart pound euro, uh, sorry euro pound and it's bearish. And I saw I commented like this. So I will talk about the daily chart next because 
it's going to be the next scenario. I put waiting for daily support breakout at 0.8530 and I will talk about what it really means. So let me switch it to the daily chart. And as per daily chart, uh, it's been ranging. You can see that the Kumo flat, Kumo Senko Span B is flat, A is flat also, the angle of a Senko Span A and B are flat. And also Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen is also flat, and Chikou Span is below the candles. So this is considered to be flat and ranging market, but this is more of the bearish side because the Chikou Span is below the candles. And also, if you look at the location of price, the price itself is located below Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Kumo, and this is also considered to be bearish market. So, I draw the horizontal line, and this support line is at 0 0.8530, and once the market breaks that line, then I will start to look for the sell chance, is what I meant on, on the post on the trading view. So, if it happens, then I will start to look for sell, but I might not gonna happen because this is simply range market. Once again, Kumo's flat and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are flat. So, in this situation, uh, the market might be supported once again and it goes up this way. It might happen. If it happens, then simply I stay away. But uh, sometime this week, there might be a breakout downwards. And if it happens, then we'll look for the sell chance even in lower time frames. So that's my strategy. And also, one thing to note is that the, uh, if you look at the price per uh, Kijun Sen, once again, Kijun Sen is a green line. And you see the price has been resisted by the Kijun Sen once, twice, and uh, three times, and a couple of times here too. And also, last week, there was a resistance by the Kijun Sen. So I would say that in this case, as long as the price is below the Kijun Sen, this is bearish. And also it might become a descending P wave on the daily chart. So descending P wave is where the supports at the same level and the highs are getting lower. So you can draw the descending trend line like this way. And this is a typical descending P wave. So the market might test the upper part of the descending trend line and also it might test the Kijun Sen but uh, it might be resisted and continuously go down this way which might happen this week or maybe next week but uh, if it happens today if the breakout happens today then I will look for the sell chance and looks like it's gonna happen anytime soon sometime this week or next week and that's why I watched this market today also. And today's Monday, so uh, the market might be slow, but uh, I will keep an eye on this market as it goes on. So uh, yeah, so that's basically what I look for in terms of the selling edge. If I sell, if I take a sell or buy on any markets, then I will explain. But uh, uh, right now. I don't see any trending pairs uh, in lower time frames, so simply my focus is more of the bigger picture. And because even if I, even if I go down to five minute chart, um, it might be spiky or ranging, and uh, I don't really, you know, talk about. I don't really look at the lower time frames in this situation. So simply, I don't talk about it yet. But sometime this week. Or next week, if I see the trending pairs, then I will look at the lower time frames and talk about the entry edges. So please uh, look forward to it too. All right, so that's it for today's video session. If you liked it, please press the like button. And if you can subscribe and click the bell button, that would be great so that you can you get notified as I do these video sessions or live streams almost every day on my YouTube channel. Um, I do this video session, I upload a video or do the live stream at 2 p.m. in UT's time zone. As long as I'm available, 
at this time I will do this on my YouTube channel. So uh, I will see you on the next one. So please stay healthy, stay safe, and also stay gold. Alright? Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.